What's up, family? You already know what we're here for. Dat mula baby. However, today it may be slightly short because it's a busy week before I go on vacation with my family. You feel me? It's my daughter's cheerleading competition. So you already know I appreciate you being here. Even though I consider this a fast food version of knowledge, go ahead and gain your free value all nutrients B. No cap pay attention. Ever pondered what the wealthy avoid doing to maintain their riches? In the complex world of finance and wealth, understanding the habits of the affluent can offer a wealth of knowledge. Yes, pun intended, the rich are not just good at making money, they're also experts at keeping it. They've mastered certain habits and principles that ensure their wealth doesn't just come and go but stays and multiplies. Today we're going to delve into these principles, these wealth habits, to help you comprehend what sets the wealthy apart. We'll dissect five key points that the affluent steadfastly avoid to preserve and grow their wealth. These include spending frivolously, ignoring investments, neglecting self-education, relying on a single income stream, and skipping on networking. Each point carries its own weight and significance in the grand scheme of wealth accumulation and preservation. So, are you ready to peek behind the curtain? Stick around to discover the five things the affluent avoid doing to preserve their wealth. First on our list, the wealthy do not spend their money frivolously. It's a common misconception that being rich equates to splurging on every shiny new toy that catches the eye. The reality couldn't be more different. The wealthy, in fact, are often more careful with their money than the average person. They understand the value of each dollar and the potential it holds. They see money not as a means to purchase, but as a tool for growth. This perspective guides their spending habits. They prioritize investments and necessities, letting go of unnecessary expenses. Luxuries are not off the table, but they're not the main course either. Instead, the wealthy focus on buying value for their money. Think of it this way. It's not about how much you spend, but what you get in return. A thousand dollars spent on a fleeting desire brings temporary joy, but the same amount invested wisely can yield returns that last a lifetime. The wealthy also recognize the importance of living within their means, regardless of the size of their bank account. They avoid debt like the plague and spend less than they earn. It's not about being stingy or depriving oneself, but about making smart financial choices that pave the way for long-term prosperity. So, the first thing the rich avoid doing is spending their money frivolously. They know the power of a dollar and use it to build a robust financial future, rather than blowing it on short-lived pleasures. Secondly, the rich never neglect their investments. This is a principle etched into the DNA of the well-to-do. You see, the wealthy understand that money isn't just for spending, it's a tool that can be leveraged to create even more wealth. Imagine for a moment, having a goose that lays golden eggs. Would you just ignore it? Of course not. You would care for it, feed it, and ensure it continues to produce. This is how the rich view their investments. They are their golden geese, offering a steady stream of income and potential for growth. They are constantly scanning the horizon for new investment opportunities. This could be anything from emerging markets, technological breakthroughs, or even real estate trends. They're not afraid to take calculated risks because they understand that with risk often comes reward. But it's not just about finding new opportunities. The wealthy also know the importance of diversifying their portfolios. They spread their investments across a range of assets, such as stocks, bonds, real estate, and even commodities. This way, if one investment takes a hit, the others can help cushion the blow. They also routinely review and adjust their portfolios. They're not just setting it and forgetting it. They're actively managing their investments, making tweaks and changes based on market conditions and financial goals. So, the second thing the wealthy avoid doing is ignoring their investments. They treat them with the care and attention they deserve, ensuring they continue to lay those golden eggs. Thirdly, the rich never stop learning. The concept of self-education is a cornerstone of wealth creation and maintenance. Why, you ask? Well, the world is an ever-changing place. New technologies, economic trends, and investment opportunities are constantly cropping up. The wealthy understand that to stay ahead, they must continually expand their knowledge and adapt to these changes. This is not to say that they're all PhDs or experts in every field. 
Rather, they invest in learning about areas that directly affect their wealth. This could be anything from understanding the latest tax laws to mastering new technologies like blockchain or even studying the geopolitical landscape to predict future investment trends. But self-education goes beyond just learning new facts or skills. It's also about personal development. On my soul. You can see these are some important things to keep in mind so far on your journey to solid success. Believe me, you don't want to take this lightly because this is straight up proven in a lot of ways, even if you aren't where you want to be quite yet. You feel me? I said a lot of nothing to say something, but if you still hear, go ahead and quit playing. Smack the like and punch the subscribe buttons like they owe you money. That's on my good words for the day. Because all we keep doing is dropping video bangers getting better every day. On folk and them grave. The wealthy know the importance of developing a growth mindset. The belief that their talents can be developed through hard work, smart strategies, and input from others. They continually seek to improve their leadership, negotiation, and decision-making skills. They understand that these soft skills are just as important as hard knowledge when it comes to growing and preserving their wealth. In fact, many of the wealthiest people in the world are known for their voracious reading habits. They recognize that books are a treasure trove of knowledge and insights, and they make time to learn from the experiences and wisdom of others. So, the third thing the wealthy avoid doing is neglecting self-education. Fourth on our list, the rich don't rely on a single income stream. It's a common misconception that the wealthy have one big pot of gold they've stumbled upon. In reality, their wealth is often spread across multiple streams of income. Imagine your income is a river. If you're relying on a single stream and something happens to block that stream, you're left high and dry. But if you have multiple streams feeding into your river, even if one gets blocked, the others will keep the water, or in this case, money, flowing. The rich understand this and make it a point to diversify their income. They invest in stocks, bonds, and real estate. They start businesses, write books, and create products. They might even have a day job. Their wealth is not tied to one specific source. It's spread out, mitigating the risk of loss. This method doesn't just minimize risk. It also creates opportunities for more wealth. For example, if one of their businesses takes off, it could bring in much more income than they originally anticipated. On the other hand, if one of their investments doesn't perform as expected, they're not left scrambling because they have other income sources to fall back on. So, the fourth thing the wealthy avoid doing is relying on a single income stream. Instead, they create, invest, and diversify, ensuring their wealth continues to grow and is protected from any single point of failure. Finally, the rich never underestimate the power of networking, it's not simply about collecting business cards or attending high-profile parties. It's about forging meaningful connections that can open new doors and present opportunities that might not be available otherwise. The wealthy understand the value of surrounding themselves with individuals who possess diverse expertise and knowledge. This is not about mere socializing. It's about strategic relationship building. It's about understanding that your network is your net worth. They prioritize establishing bonds with people who can provide insights into different industries, offer advice on potential investments, and perhaps even become business partners in the future. This network acts as a safety net, a source of opportunities, and a wealth preservation tool. Networking is never a one-way street. It's about giving as much as you're receiving, about contributing value to the relationships you've cultivated. It's a cycle of mutual growth and benefit, so, the final thing the wealthy avoid doing is skipping on networking. To wrap things up, let's quickly recap the five things the rich don't do to stay rich. First off, they don't spend frivolously. Instead of wasting money on unnecessary luxuries, they prioritize their expenditures to maximize their wealth. Secondly, they never ignore investments. They know that their money should be working for them, not the other way around so they actively seek out and manage profitable investment opportunities. Third, they never neglect self-education. Continuous learning is a part of their routine, ensuring that they stay informed and updated on financial trends and opportunities. Fourth, they don't rely on a single income stream. They diversify their revenue sources to minimize risk and maximize income. Finally, they don't skip on networking. 
building strong relationships is a part of their wealth building strategy. They understand that who they know can often be as important as what they know. Remember, wealth preservation is as important as wealth creation. Avoid doing these things and you're one step closer to financial success. All right, money minds. That's a wrap on the things the rich avoid like the plague. Hopefully, you're leaving with some valuable insights on what to do and not to do if you wanna build real wealth. Just remember, being rich isn't about depriving yourself of every little pleasure in life be. It's about making smart choices and having the discipline to stick to your long-term goals. Speaking of goals, if you're aiming to become a money-making machine, you won't want to miss our next video popping up on that screen of yours. Who knows, you might even be able to retire early and spend your days lounging on a beach with a new BBL or Tesla Cybertruck without a care in the world. We'll see you next time when we dive into the world of passive income and living the dream. Until then, stay wealthy, my G, on God.